And now joined by Mr. Anjali Ratan Nashia, the chairperson and co-founder at uh, Ratan India Enterprises. Uh, Mr. Nashia, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Uh, let me start with, you know, Revolt Motors. Firstly, you are expanding your presence and now have 115 dealerships across the country. And it's a very interesting segment that you operate in, which is the EV bike segment. Uh, talk to us about, you know, the rationale behind, you know, increasing the presence and also about the new launch that you had at the start of the year, the RZ400. Talk to us on how the product has been accepted, what is the kind of response that you've gotten, uh, and a little bit on that. Yeah, hi, good afternoon. Uh, uh, thanks for having me over here. And uh, so regarding the expansion, we are expanding uh, all over India. It's pan-India expansion. And uh, we are uh, seeing a very good uh, interest in the market in terms of sales of EV bike uh, in tier one, tier two, and all tier three cities. It's not just restricted to the metro cities. And uh, we have uh, we already have 125 dealerships. And we are, uh, by the end of the year, we, we are planning to have close to almost 200 dealerships. And uh, regarding the penetration of uh, EV uh, bike per se, we have, uh, our company is uh, one of the best uh, EV uh, bike company in India. We, we capture almost like 95% of the sales of uh, electric bikes of India. Uh, we launched, uh, yes, we did launch an, another model, which is uh, RV400 Breeze recently, uh, but uh, we'll be launching m many more products in the coming time. And uh, regarding the, the service, the growth, see, it's just not uh, important to have a dealership. It's very important to giving a uh, good service in the market. So we are expanding with a lot of uh, uh, work, uh, workshops and uh, service centers all across India. Uh, just wanted to get into the EV bike segment for a moment because you didn't mention that you have 90% of the market share and we haven't seen much competition uh, over the last couple of years, but we are seeing a lot of companies now coming out with plans for making EV bikes. Uh, specifically, what is, uh, just wanted to understand a little bit on the market because, you know, we have seen the EV scooter market being very strong. We had roughly uh, 9 to 9.5 lakhs EV scooters sold last year. Uh, the top three, four companies uh, also present acro across the petrol and diesel have also launched uh, EV scooters, but no such plans from them uh, as of now for launching EV bikes. Uh, the share of EV bikes is currently very low when you, when you see in the two-wheeler EV landscape. How do you see this evolving in this particular, maybe the next 12 to 18 months? And what kind of buyers do you see? Because we see a very premium type of buyer coming in for the EV bikes, while for EV scooters, it's a different type of market where it's become mass segment now. Uh, talk to us what you're seeing on this particular side. That's absolutely right. Uh, there are many scooter players in the market. But if you see the market, uh, we have two third of elect, uh, sorry, bikes selling in India as compared to scooters. So it's almost like 65 to 70% of the market in India is for bikes and the rest is for scooters. So where is the, the bigger game? The bigger game is in the bikes, but why the scooters are more right now? I mean, uh, it's, it's uh, in terms of technology, in terms of EV expansion right now, it's scooters. It's the, you know, the R&D, the entire, ecosystem the it's easy to get a scooter up in the market but when it, i talk about the uh, the the, uh, the research or or getting a robust bike ev bike in the market it takes many years so like our company is almost 7 years old company and uh, our our bikes have covered almost like 40 crores of kilometers on the road so getting a robust a high quality good range bike is not so easy as compared to scooters. And when I talk about the R&D, you know, uh, uh, bike is associated with good range, a robust product when it comes to quality. So bikes you will see mostly on the highways and by the commuters. So it is very, very important that uh, the balancing, the, uh, the quality of the bike is really, really good when it comes to uh, good speed. So uh, in, in the bike, most of the parts are exposed. When in scooter, it's more like a box. When you're doing any sort of a changes in terms of scooter, it's much easy. 
uh, when you're changing the parts or you're, you're, you're tweaking with the with, with the scooter or getting a new product. Right. But with the uh, with the bike, it's more more the pro uh, the whole bike is mostly exposed uh, parts. That's how people like the bike to be, and it has a bigger wheel. So when you have a bigger wheel in the bike, it takes a lot of time to uh, to do the uh, to, to to get the product in the market. It's not like many companies are talking about getting the product in the market by 26 or 27. And uh, in, I'm sure in coming two three years there'll be. Many yeah, more I just wanted to address this uh, particular competition which you are also raising that we are seeing. Uh, you know, maybe only after a couple of years there'll be, but. Uh, we have another, uh, you know, IPO on the bosses, which is of Ola. Now they are also planning to compete in this particular segment by next year, uh, and have planned roughly four, uh, three to four launches. I want to understand what's the current uh, strategy uh, to play versus, you know, because you've not seen any kind of competitor in the EV bike segment over the last few years ever since you acquired Revolt. How are you uh, dealing with this? And also, uh, if you could tell us what's the current capacity for EV bikes for for your company, uh, and what's the utilization. So when you talk about the competition, uh, I, I got to know there are uh, some of the competitions like you've talked about Ola coming next year with their range. Though they're coming with a range which is close to what I heard earlier, I'm not too sure, it's more than two and a half lakh rupees. And there are uh, one or two players in the market as well. So I wouldn't say they are my competition since their uh, pricing of the bike is... Uh, uh, close to like four like lakh or five lakh uh, in the market wherein i am close to the commuter so uh, i i'll be launching a commuter bike as well i'll i'll come uh, i'll come on the dates on that uh, later but um, our, mark, our our bike is close to right now almost to 1 lakh and 20000 or 30000 so in that range there is nobody and uh, our commuters in india would expect something close to 1 lakh rupees when it comes to uh, bigger number on uh, on the sale numbers, yeah. Uh, if you could just give us the current capacity uh, of the EV bikes, current, how many can you produce, and uh, what's the utilization uh, at at the moment? So we are. Uh, 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 I'll I'll get on the exact numbers uh, in, in our result, but we have a capacity of close to uh, fourteen thousand bikes a month in our present manufacturing unit. We have a manufacturing unit in uh, uh, Manesa, that's very close to Delhi. Uh, so now we would love to talk about the other businesses as well of Ratan India, but maybe we'll have a, a, a larger chat post our Q1 results. But thank you so much for joining us today and talking about Revolt TV uh, and as well as the competitive landscape. But thank you so much for thank joining us so today. Much.